Hello there, good people of the internet. This is Tyler Fixer, The Cubed, or IO Monster, whatever you want to call me right now. I've got an exciting thing to show you. This is my Optimus G, AT&T version, as you can tell. Okay, well, recording this with my HTC Vivid. It doesn't like me. Right now, it has been liberated. It is currently running Project Free G. I'll show you here in a second. So, I'm going to power off the phone. Power off. Yes. The phone will reboot. Power off. Now the phone is off, I'm going to hold volume up and power. And keep holding them. All right. Now you see I'm in fast boot. I'm going to press volume down twice. Volume down. Volume down. I'm going to press power. The menu is invisible. Uh, it's a side effect of the partitioning scheme that we're using. So, just kind of got to live with it. I'm going to press power. Uh, I am now in clockwork. You can see WM based recovery. I can go through everything. Advanced. I can do anything I need. The only thing that still does not work is the capacitive buttons. Uh, they do kind of the right thing, but not. I'm not really sure. They're not mapped correctly. So, now that this is done, the next thing is custom ROMs. Uh, right now, if you mess with your system partition too much, you can still get the security error. But if you make a backup using Clockwork first, you can just reboot into Clockwork and restore your backup. You won't have any issues. Uh, right now, uh, please continue to check the XDA thread that I have in both the Sprint and the AT&T version uh, for more updates. I will be working on the Canadian version next, and then I'll work on the Korean version to make sure that this same exploit we're using works. Once we've confirmed that, I'll release it, and you'll see a post in the respective XDA or Roots Wiki section. All right. Thanks for watching.